afraid of work. I ain't afraid to play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life. Times like this. If you mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. That's right. Welcome to the Stony Ridge Farm. This is day number two of this big old log, this tree that I dropped yesterday. Guys, if you missed that video, there's probably some footage of it playing right now. This is a monstrous tree. It's about, uh, I, my reach is about six feet, six foot five, and I can't even touch my fingers around the biggest part of this tree. What we're gonna be doing is taking this red oak, I've gotta roll it over with the cant hook, finish the cut, and then we're gonna go over and get the skid loader, and we're gonna use the log grapple today. So the log grapple is a grapple that's on a set of pallet forks, and we're gonna pick up this log, and we're gonna take it right over here, drop it over the fence, then circle back around, pick it up and take it up to the sawmill, and we're gonna start milling on this red oak. I may or may not get it all done today, but if you missed yesterday's video, let's give you a little recap of what went down. So this tree was standing dead in the pasture. You can see from the footage there, it had some hangers in there. In other words, some dangerous limbs hanging down there that could really, really hurt you. The stump is right here, and you can see we've dropped the tree. This is an eight foot log right here. That is a 16 foot log right there. There, and we'll be making some awesome four by fours here in just a minute. And that is another eight footer. These eight footers will be used for fence boards or floorboards, one by sixes. And we're gonna try and mill out at least six four by four or six by six, true four by four or true six by six post for the mezzanine to go into the mega shop. So this is milling with a purpose today for sure. Without further ado, we're gonna go ahead, we'll roll this log over, I gotta make that cut, and then we'll go get the skid loader and get busy. All right, you're gonna make fun of me, but I'm still putting my chaps on, even though all I've gotta do is make one cut and I need to make an adjustment to the Echo Timber Wolf right here. Also, you hear the cows in the background mooing. I gotta zip over there and feed them cows real quick too. Guys, Accidents happen with chainsaws and there's no use in taking a risk right here. So we gotta make a quick adjustment to tighten the chain on the Echo Timberwolf right here. Just loosen that guy up, tighten that down. We want a good pop. That wasn't quite a good pop. Let's see what we got. There we go, that's a good pop. Now, whenever I tighten my chain, I try to lift up on my bar just a little bit. Don't over tighten these guys. A guy told me, a wise man told me, he said, take your chainsaw wrench and cut it off right there because that's all you need, except for the screwdriver portion, right? We're ready to rock and roll. We'll go ahead and start this saw and let it get warmed up. There we go. This is a log ox, three-in-one forestry multi-tool. There's a coupon down in the video description and a link for you guys. They are friends of mine. They are not sponsors. They're just friends. Good American made tool. Oh, that's a heavy, that's a heavy log. Oh. All right. That's it. That's all we need to do is just cut that one little piece right there. If I'd have had the cant hook yesterday, it would have been no problem. When you go into the woods, bring two saws and always bring your log ox or your cant hook.
as you can see I got the big daddy up here gosh this is a big log um, the long one bounced and fell be a little more careful uh, the other one's right there and I pushed a few out of the way they've been sitting here for a while this is called a pallet fork at a grapple from precision manufacturing the pallet forks are also from precision manufacturing they're made in America out in Missouri my good friend owns his company uh, this is not a sponsored video, but this is awesome. So this is a log grapple for pallet forks and it'll slide basically onto any pallet fork setup. And you can uh, move it in, dial it in a little bit, or you can move it out and you can grapple logs and you can see just how easy it was for me to set that log right up on here. It just slides on, tightens up, and then there's a pin system back here in the back that holds it in place. So it'll never ever fall off your tractor and it's super super handy especially for keeping your firewood out of the dirt in other words we're loading the sawmill that's great but this is an awesome tool for firewood management and you don't have to put it on a skid steer you can put it on a tractor too cool let's get busy fire up this wood miser lt40 we'll walk around the mill a little bit and show you what we got to do to get ready
<laughs> Guys, holy macaroni. This stuff is beautiful. This uh, oak, you can see I took off one slab that was just too monstrous for me to handle. We'll talk about that. Let's go over here first of all, before I show you the candy that came off the mill, um, and this is part of the candy that came off the mill, you can see that log had a lot of decay in it. Okay, let's get that out of the way. It had a lot of decay, a lot of rot. If we, oh, I can't even flip that with one hand. This is really, really rotten. So I needed to cut all the way down to where I got to the good wood. You see the edge of this is not good. It's like cork almost. That's like cork almost. So that's why you saw me struggle bus a little bit right there with the uh, gigantic slab. I just want to make as few cuts as I possibly can because we're conserving our blade as much as we possibly can. Now here's what I milled up and here's what it netted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve beautiful red oak fence boards and it's red oak but it sure does look mighty white to me if you look right here this is some of that rot and you can see the wormhole right there okay so what i'll do is i'll rip this down these this board and this board will have to be re-sawn okay it'll have to go back through and be recut and make a thing that'll trim that off trim that edge off and maybe one day i think it's called a resawer. i think maybe one day we'll pick one of those up so this is what we have this is what we netted beautiful awesome red oak fence boards and we'll look at the one that's on the mill right now that's just gorgeous just doesn't get any better than that i mean guys this would have gone to waste or just simply gone to firewood and at this point it's a very useful <laughs> very very useful board for the farm now you do see a little split right here and it's a very very wet surprisingly even though these logs are <laughs> this tree was standing dead for probably two years the lumber in the middle is still very very wet so that was the big daddy that was the big log i've still got this monster to mill up right here but we are running out of daylight the sun is just sitting right over there and it's getting dark on me so i also have a little bit of maintenance to do to the mill there's a whole lot of work that goes into saw milling that you really have to think about so what we'll do from here, it's supposed to get down to freezing tonight. You saw me earlier filling this thing up. This has windshield washer fluid. We'll turn that guy off. We'll drain this little filter, just like so, so that that doesn't freeze and bust. I don't think it will. And this is supposed to be good to zero degrees. We'll leave that there. There's a little pump inside here that pumps that liquid right on over here and sprays the blade. The blade is dull and it's time for me to change the blade. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take that tension off that blade, just like so. There we go. So next time we come out, we are going to change the blade and that'll be tomorrow. You guys won't see that. We'll change the blade, we'll get everything out and ready and we'll go ahead and mill this log, this log, those four and that one and then these white oak logs and these are all maple logs those are the logs i'm going to be using for my flooring in the mega shop so guys stay tuned lots of fun stuff to come here on the stony ridge farm i hope you enjoyed this little video dropping a tree in the field and taking it to the mill and making lumber out of it if there's anything more rewarding on a farm than having a sawmill i don't know what it is guys thanks a lot for joining me hit that like button we'll see you next time on the stony ridge farm Woo! Come on down to the stony Bring your wife and bring your kids We're living life pure and sweet That's the way it's supposed to be Stony Ridge Woo! Keep on rolling, rolling, rolling That's the wrong tool Daggone it